Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be some of the best investments for 2021 in CSGO. Main reason I'm making this video is because it kind of got spurred along by another person who's actually a scammer who decided to make a YouTube channel. Personally, I have a zero tolerance policy for scammers and I also have a zero tolerance policy for misinformation. Clearly this person doesn't actually know how to invest based on the video and based on how people have reacted to it. So for that reason, that's why this video kind of got spurred along. I actually was planning to make this video for quite some time. Obviously, I kind of make these videos every time a new year comes around so this is just uh, I guess more reason to make it right now rather than later clearly it looks like he's just doing it for the views which is whatever let's just move on to this video and talk about some good investments Moving on to the sponsor for this video though, we actually have Skimport.com, which in my personal opinion is a clean, great place that you can pick up skins for very cheap prices, allowing you to undercut the Steam marketplace and make larger margins on your investments. They have a huge variety of skins on the site for all types of investors, and they also have a very clean and minimalist UI that's going to allow you to surf the site and find the best skins that you want very easily. They're also a very highly trusted site using the Trustpilot system, and for that reason, I do highly recommend them. I do personally use Skimport, and I think they're a great site. Check them out using the link in the description below. All right, guys, let's move on to some of the investments. So starting off, we do have Operation Broken Fang, that's sort of the elephant in the room when it comes to investing at the current moment, and there's a lot of great candidates for investment profits going forward in 2021, but some of the best ones are obviously going to be one that I've harped on a lot, which is the m 41 s Blue Phosphor. If you want a bit of a deeper dive on this, this item specifically I did actually make a video specifically going into detail about this item and some others but to kind of sum up the best reasons for why this is such a good investment it's because not only is it the optimal trade-up skin to get an op fade because it's very easy to get it in low floats but it also just naturally looks good on its own as a skin and that's a very big important thing for demand traders people that are really wanting to pick it up it's also quite rare as it's very hard to get a pink out of the control rolls despite being able to use stars on that specifically it's still going to be a little bit higher quantity than Shattered Web stuff, but I do think it'll follow a pretty similar trend. And as we can see with Shattered Web stuff popping off recently, we do have the Negev Mjolnir up at almost $700, which is just absolutely crazy. And I could see the Blue Phosphor following that same trend. Maybe not seeing that same exact price overall, but definitely following that same trend. Simply put, the Blue Phosphor has a lot of really good points for it and a lot to show that it'll probably see some nice price increases going forward into this year. But I do think one of the other big points about it that I did not mention before is the fact that it is very high demand, which is very good going forward because after Broken Thing ends, there's obviously going to be a lot less of a target for people that are buying random skins into Broken Thing items specifically. However, because the Blue Phosphor looks so good and it's such a important high tier skin for the m 41 s loadout slot, I do think that is very good after Broken Fang because it means more people are going to be able to buy the skin going forward as there's going to still be a big draw for it. Speaking of Operation Skins, we have another very impactful Operation Skin and that is the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr. I talked about this one a lot, I've harped on it a lot and it's a very impactful skin for a lot of people. A lot of people have made a lot of money off of it and I think that it's just going to continue going forward. The Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr has quite a lot of draws to it obviously but one of the big ones is of course the fact that it is a green deagle which means that it is going to be alone in that category Category. There's no other green deagles in the game. It's not only a unique skin, but it is also one that does fit green loadouts. So for people looking to build green loadouts, this is the main option. This is a little bit of a minuscule point, but obviously the collectors that have a lot more money are going to be more interested in the Desert Eagle Emerald Gunder as a whole, just because green loadouts tend to be more expensive loadouts with stuff like Karambit Emeralds and that whole kind of area of knives. So obviously a pretty expensive loadout to build. So the Desert Eagle Emerald Gunder is going to be very attractive for those people. Of course, another big point is the uncertainty being removed from the market. I talked about this a lot more in my previous video, so if you want some more information on uncertainty relating to the Desert Eagle Emerald Gunder, all that information is going to be there. To sum up the uncertainty argument, basically people were expecting CSGO to release Desert Eagle Emerald Gunders in a future operation in the rehashed collections from Shattered Web, but this was obviously unjustified as with Broken Fang, we saw that there was brand new collections overall. So for that reason, a lot of the uncertainty around the Desert Eagle Emerald Gunder was now removed from the markets, and that meant that the floodgates were basically open and the price ceiling could rise much higher. And of course, there's also the blatant point for the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr, and that's of course just the fact that it looks really good. It's a very well-designed skin. It has a very interesting and unique design concept. It has a cool few different patterns that you can get for it. It's just a really good looking skin overall. The green fits really well with the pattern, and it does wrap around the Deagle very nicely. So for that reason, it's also very desirable. Now to speak on why I think the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr is going to rise past its current peak, I think that the big point there is going to be the buy order setup. There's a lot of buy orders there. 
for a wide variety of prices that are very close to its current market price, which is a very good thing to see because it means that people are willing to buy it for a very high price, very close to its regular price, which is very good for items like this because it means that it has a very solid floor to stand on and it can go higher because of that. Moving on, we have some very high tier items that are actually going to have a very unique reason for why they will perform well in 2021, especially in March. These are going to be the Glock Fade and the Desert Eagle Blaze specifically. So yeah, another Desert Eagle. Now that unique reason is actually the Chinese New Year. Now I spoke about this a little bit in my previous videos, but the Chinese New Year is actually the main reason that a lot of stuff rises in March. Now technically, obviously the Chinese New Year starts on February 12th, but the festivities carry on a while past that, and it also is going to extend into markets over the March time period, which is a very good reason that these items are going to rise. Obviously Chinese collectors are looking for those really high ticket items like Glock Fades, like Desert Eagle Blazes, you know, like Howl, stuff like that. All of those really high tier, god tier items that you see a lot of Chinese collectors owning are going to be prime targets come the Chinese New Year. Now there's a couple cultural reasons for why CNY is so big for markets. Obviously the first one is the fact that it's a holiday, which means that people are going to be celebrating and are more willing to buy things. And the other big one is red envelope exchanges, which is basically a cultural tradition where Chinese people give each other red envelopes filled with money that are basically seen as lucky gifts. And that's a pretty big part of the tradition for Chinese New Year. And that's going to be a big reason why people are going to be given money, especially younger audiences. Well, those are the main two reasons why these big high tier items are going to rise over the future. The reason I picked the Glock Fade and the Desert Eagle Blaze specifically is because I do believe the Desert Eagle Blaze is quite underpriced right now. I don't think that it's at its peak, nowhere close to it really. And I also think the Glock Fade is a little underpriced for where it could be at. It did have some recent rises, but a really interesting thing about it is that it actually held at its higher prices, which is a very good sign for its future growth. And of course, another big reason for the Glock Fade and the Desert Eagle Blaze being good options is because they just look really good. The community touts them as very well designed skins and very desirable skins, which is why they are such good high demand items. I also wanted to give a budget option for this kind of category because another big thing here is obviously money. People aren't willing to spend a thousand dollars on a Glock Fade, so another option is the Op Asimov. This is also a very popular skin with Chinese collectors as it is a little bit cheaper, but it is still something that they do enjoy. So if you want to pick up one of these, these are probably also going to continually see growth over 2021 and especially during the Chinese New Year. And as we've seen in the previous previous few months, these have actually risen quite a bit as well, up from about $70 to around $90 at their currently priced at and field dozen condition. So if you don't have the money to shell out for those big ticket items, that's going to be an option as well. Now our next investment is actually from some recent news from PGL that actually shows that we're going to get a new CSGO major after a two year break, which means that we're going to get new stickers and obviously a big investment opportunity there. So at the end of 2021, around that era in November and October, that kind of time, we're going to see some new stickers released that are going to be PGL stickers. So obviously kind of a wild card there. PGL is kind of seen as the worst stickers of any major, so maybe they'll have a complete 180 and have some really nice looking stickers, or maybe they'll continue their previous trend and have some really ugly looking stickers. Who really knows at this point, but we'll see when that comes around. I do think they're still going to be great investments. As we've seen with PGL Krakow and also Katowice 2019 and Berlin 2019, the stickers could look really, really bad and still be good maturing investments, so I do think that's going to be pretty strong evidence for PGL 2021 still being a good option. Now with this, there's obviously a lot of unknown factors. All we have is basically a major announcement. We don't know if it's going to get pushed back more. We don't know what's going to happen with it. So we're going to have to wait and see what actually goes on. But that is something to look forward to at the end of 2021, at the current moment at least. If you want some tips for how to prime yourself for this investment opportunity at the end of the year, basically just keep watch on all of the top teams, keep watch on all of the top players, and look for some of those really standout stars that could have some very solid autograph stickers from this major and could also have some very good looking team stickers from this major. So if you keep your eyes on that, you're going to be in a good spot. Now clearly this video is only only centered on the main big optimized stuff that I think is going to perform the best, but there is still going to be more caveats to this and more options that are still going to be considered really good investments. Like for example, other pinks and other purples from Broken Fang and other pinks and other purples from the Shadow Web Operation. Those are still going to be good options. It's just going to be, in my opinion, less optimized than the ones that I mentioned. And also with these stickers, of course, there could be other stickers that are going to rise. There could be stickers that are going to rise more than PGL stickers. It's just that I think PGL stickers are the most primed for the most investment return at the current moment. As you know, stuff can change over time, but these are kind of just the best recommendations I can give you at the moment and all of the reasons for them. So if you did enjoy the video, be sure to like it and also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more of the best investment content you can get on YouTube. And I'll see you all next time. Peace. Be sure to check out Skimport, my Discord server, and my Twitter account below. And I feel like this goes without saying, but probably you should not support the dude at the beginning of the video. The man has literally scammed people and made ironic videos where he's called out scammers, which kind of makes no sense because... He scammed people. Kind of ironic. Anyway, that's the only thing I wanted to say about that. See you guys next time. Peace.